I'm Tia Bourne with Mining IR, and beside me is JC St. Amour, president of Imagine Lithium. G uh, JC, it's so great to sit down with you. We've had a couple of opportunities to chat, and you're you're always busy, always have new exciting projects on the go. So I'm excited to chat with you about what you're currently up to. Sure. Um, oh, you're currently working on a flagship project. Where is that based? Yeah, we're, so with Imagine Lithium, we have uh, our focus is entirely on our jackpot lithium project, which is uh, just north of, uh, it's in northern Ontario, just north of Lake Superior, north of a town called Nipigon, Ontario. And um, so we're, we're, project is close to infrastructure, close to, I know at Nipigon we have a railway, there's a port nearby. So uh, everything we need. Uh, really is, good mining jurisdiction, yeah. Ex exactly. Like, uh, you know, Ontario is a good mining uh, place in general. Uh, but the location of the project is ideal as well because it's, it's close to everything. So. And can you give us some details of what that project looks like and what you're, it's in the development stage right now? Sure, it's an exploration project. Mm -hmm. um, we we uh, are drilling it as we speak to expand the resources that we have on that um, uh, on the uh, uh, deposit. Um, this was a historical deposit that was discovered back in the 1950s. It was a small deposit uh, outlined at that time at 2 million tons. And uh, so we've been uh, drilling it for over the past uh, year or so, and currently drilling it as we speak uh, to expand what is there, and then uh, you know leading us to say a resource, uh, you know, in the in the coming months here. So. And what partnerships do you have, and including First Nations that you're currently fostering? Sure. Uh, um, you know, we do. Um, uh, the Jackpot Lithium project is uh, is located uh, about 15 kilometers south of uh, another project held by Rock Tech Lithium. Which is a Georgia Lake project. Um, we've signed an MOU with them recently uh, to discuss, uh, you know, how we can collaborate uh, on uh, with each other on on the projects, and we'll we'll look at all kinds of things uh, together. We'll f uh, everything from let's say, uh, you know, sharing a concentrator, for example, at the operational level, uh, to maybe more in depth. Um, uh, you know, synergies between the, the projects and and potentially even M and A opportunities. Uh, but um, you know, it's very preliminary at that stage. It's early discussions, but at least we're you know we're talking and we're seeing how we can develop that. Uh, and with the First Nations, we do have uh, um, exploration agreements uh, with the local communities. Um, you know, the First Nations in this area are very uh, uh, they're, they're very uh, keen and open to business and. Uh, you know, we'd like to see, uh, you know, development in the air to create jobs and so on. So they're, we're, we're lucky with the groups that we have here. And, um, you know, overall, we have a good relationship with them. So. And what are, what does the financial health of the company look like? And what are your plans to fund, cur like, upcoming projects? Right. So uh, we raised uh, $9 million earlier this year. Um, so we're in the process of, of spending those funds on, on these drilling programs. Um we, uh, have, you know, we uh, we raised I think eight and a half of that was flow through, so we'll have to spend that by the end of next year, and um, uh, so so far this year we've covered we've probably spent about half of that, and uh, I think for the the next year we'll be uh, you know spending the other half effectively. So uh, and you know we're we're a bit careful managing our funds as well, so we want to make sure that we're. Uh, in a good uh, position and that for the next time that we need to uh, raise funds as well. So. And what do you do to prioritize communication and transparency with your investors? Yeah, as we get uh, in, t in terms of um, in terms of news, in terms of information that comes from the from the uh, the site, we uh, you know we issue uh, news releases as we uh, get the information, and so that we can uh, update all uh, investors. And then, uh, but you know, just in general, just get the word out on the company and so on. We'll do you know these types of conferences. We'll do uh, you know we have social media and our website and so on. So we, we try to get the message out uh, in as many ways as we can, and um, you know and try to uh, answer any questions that any, uh, anyone has. If people call me, I I um, I um, you know uh, respond to them as quickly as I can. JC, is there anything else that you would like to share with our viewers? Um, I think um, you know overall. Uh, Imagine is a, a in a in a good spot. We're you know like I said, we're drilling right now. We're hoping to put out a 43101 resource um, in the first, definitely in the first half of 2024, but maybe in the first quarter. And if we're lucky, it'll be before PDAC. And um, you know, and from there, we'll start looking at economic studies and and so on. So so we're 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 getting sort of beyond uh, exploration here, and um, and uh, we're going to start looking towards development as we as we go from there. Always a pleasure to sit down with you. I hope you enjoyed the next little bit of the yeah. conference and I'm sure we'll sit down again in the new year. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, JC. Thanks for having me.